Welcome to Heat Check. We're going to look at the top 10 highest selling vintage denim items over the last two weeks on eBay. This video is sponsored by WeBuyOldJeans.com. At number 10, we have these Big E 501s from the 1950s, apparently. Um, this seller has sold a few things on this list. So uh, let's see if this is a repeat. I don't think this is a repeat. Oh, look, he's got a Buddy Lee back there. That's so cool. This guy's got some swag here. He's got some other denim there. Uh, yeah, David Irons and Duck got some good stuff. That's for sure. Uh, so he probably knows what he's talking about. Looks like the uh, the bell loops were removed. That's interesting. Uh, we've got no V stitch or not V stitch. We have no arcuate either. Kind of unusual. Uh, but all that could have been taken out. There are the hidden rivets right there. V stitch. Selvage watch pockets, selvage there. Yeah, I think you could say these are 50s. It's I have to look at some closer details to be more uh, for sure, but uh, still, there's an S on that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, not bad. Some weird uh, dots on that thing. That's not unusual. Um, how, what's the size here? We got about 30 inches. So. Not too bad. Uh, we do see these pretty often. Uh, it is a little unusual, this pair, but uh, but probably just fine. Uh, this one sold after 23 bids for $1,225. Then next up, we have a Type 2 denim jacket from the 1950s, apparently. Uh, most likely is the case. Uh, some, some unusual fading. Uh, the color's not perfect. Uh, there's the tab. The tab looks a little rough, too. Um, this one looks like it has been worn, but not too bad. Maybe worn and stored. You got some rust on the rivets here. Uh, patch is obviously removed. Otherwise, it's a generally good looking jacket. Let's see if we have some measurements on here. Uh, and it is nice here, the collar. A lot of times these collars wear out and bust out, but uh, this one is still intact, still hanging on. Um, I don't see any measurements. Where they have, yeah, pit to pit, tw uh, 20. So it's a size 40 or 38 or so. Uh, so that's not too bad. Uh, this one uh, did did okay. Uh, I would have expected a little bit better, so they probably just went ahead and no the the thing all went all the way through. But uh, it sold for twelve fifty. Next up, we have some super rare Levi's five hundred twos, and these are actually kind of rare. These are actually interesting right here. Uh, this pair of five hundred twos, five hundred twos being sort of the uh, bro the cousin or the the next evolution of the 551z or the 501z uh, these were zippered straight leg jeans uh, uh, I this uh, ironically a pair of these a little bit older than this uh, were my first pair that I of like selvage denim jeans I ever found like years and years and years ago we've got a 16 on the factory code you can tell there's no v stitch that's what makes it sort of unusual here is this is a pretty late model 502 the 502 was made in the late 60s uh, uh, into the early 70s and this one's interesting because let's take a look uh, you'll see here in a second uh, the it is a big E uh, but this was produced in 1972 and I'll show you why here is the stamp uh, this is the uh, basically the proto care tag and you can see here we have 12 2 16 right here is the 16 right here is the factory code and this is the date code the production code 12 2 so this was made just as he crossed into uh, 1973 uh, when uh, basically tags took over at that point uh, there were some tags in 1972 uh, but it was sort of all over the place so this is pretty unusual this is an older 502 uh, I'm not exactly sure when the cutoff date for the production of the 502 was but clearly this one uh, is from nearly to 1973 so that's pretty cool so it's in great condition the wash is great there's no you know hidden rivets or anything like that uh, but a uh, beautiful pair of jeans, and this one is sold for $1,500. Next up, we have another pair of 501s, it looks like. Uh, let's see, from the 1960s, apparently. Looks like we got some fuzzy pictures. Maybe some damage right here. Uh, that's not too bad. Everything else looks good. The color looks good. Uh, the condition looks good. Generally speaking, the selvage looks good. Uh, there's those hidden rivets. So, yeah, we're looking at the 60s here. Um, we've got that centered uh, uh, belt loop. Yeah, there's a little bit of damage. Yeah, there's some there's some like damage here and there, which is kind of a bummer, uh, but nothing you couldn't repair. Well, let's take a look. 
Uh, some of these other details. I don't think there's a V stitch. Is that a, that's a V stitch right there? Yeah, it's a V stitch. It looks like. Um, so we're probably yeah we're probably looking like uh, mid 60s or something like that. So anyway, this one did all right. It sold after 25 bids for 15.25. So if you think you have a pair of jeans that might end up on this list, we recommend you check out WeBuyOldJeans.com. These guys are the best in the business. They can give you appraisals. They can help you with research, or they can make an offer on your jeans. They offer reasonable prices and great customer service. So we highly recommend our friends over at WeBuyOldJeans.com. Next up, we have another 501. Not surprising. We do see these quite often. Um, this one did a lot better than the previous ones. So let's take a look. We have some damage on the tab. We have some damage on the arcuit, which is sad, but, you know, understandable after this many years. We've got hidden rivets. Uh, let's take a look. Does it show us the back patch on this guy? What was that? Uh, show us a number. Let's look at number four. So these are a bit older. Uh, quite a bit older, it looks like. Um, is it not going to show us the back patch? Really? Man, that's the best. Oh, no. Here it is. Right here. Here's the back patch. Every garment guaranteed. 501 X. Every garment guaranteed was removed by the mid-60s. Uh, so this is definitely older than that. And I think probably uh, at least the 50s. Uh, beautiful pair here. Uh, this one, after three bids, sold for $22.47. All right, then we're straight away right back into another pair of 60s 501s. This one's got a beautiful wash here. Absolutely gorgeous. Condition looks fantastic. Very little wear. Uh, we have that every garment guaranteed 501 XX again, uh, letting us know this is probably at least early 60s, mid to early 60s. We have some damage there at the end, maybe where it was folded. Um, but generally speaking, very beautiful pair of 501s here. Uh, we won't spend too much time on this one because it's pretty obvious what this one would do. Uh, do pretty well. And it did. It sold for $25.50. Now for the annual tradition of Levi's Type 2 and Type 1 denim jackets. We're going to have a few of those here. But this one, look at this. Still has the jerky tag. Uh, the pleats look like they're in fantastic condition the color is deep i mean this one is an exceptional good piece now uh, we have seen some in this good condition but typically you don't have that jerky tag that's pretty amazing um it might actually be more wearable without it because it won't scrunch this you know neckline up here but um either way let's take a look at the size we are looking like a 40 or so so pretty good size all things considered uh, beautiful jacket here. We've seen a lot of these over the years, but uh, this one sold for $35.15. Right now, back to back 507 XXXs. We have this one right here uh, that is a bit younger. This is 50s era, because you can see the Jackron patch right there. But look at the color. Oh my gosh. The condition looks like nearly dead stock. Like, you can tell it's never been washed, almost, because you don't see any of this, like, uh, uh, you don't see it like bunching up at all. You don't see any. I mean, it just looks incredible. Look how look how sharp that looks. Uh, this is got to be one of the better looking uh, 507 double X's we've seen on the list. Um, yeah, you can see maybe at the, the maybe the slightest bit of shrinkage. Um, just absolutely gorgeous piece right here. Um, and it may not have ever been shrunk from wash, just maybe just getting a little bit of moisture on it. So an incredible specimen here, uh, and it went for an incredible price. It sold for $3,600. No, it's not deja vu. It's another type two. <laughs> We've got another one, but again, another one with the jerky tag. But look at the color. Oh, my gosh. Um, I, it's probably not this uh, tag probably did not. Uh, shrink has probably not been washed or anything it just the over time the uh, Leather dries out and cracks like that and starts pulling on the jacket. Otherwise look how rich of a color you have on this thing uh, I don't think this has been worn much at all. Uh, let's take a look at what's the size on this Yeah, we're we're looking at another like another size 40 or so um, Absolutely beautiful jacket here. Uh, they do not get much better than this is in terms of condition uh, you're just going to be hard pressed to find something that is this good. Uh, did double check. These are not, this is not the same jacket as the one a few uh, spots ago, uh, but uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. And it went for an absolutely gorgeous price of $4,000. Uh, congratulations. 
Now at number one, number one is not a Levi's at all, which is so nice to see, to see some variety here. We have a very unusual sort of niche jacket here. We have this 1930s N and W chin strap chore coat. Look at the details. This thing looks like it's in a fantastic condition for being almost a hundred years old. Uh, looks like maybe some replacement buttons. Kind of hard to say. Um, it's like gold buttons there, and then like maybe and it's hard to tell. They don't have a lot of photos here, but look at how cool those buttons are. Buttons just don't get that cool anymore. Uh, there's the chin strap. Chin straps are obviously a, a, a good way to date these things as being quite uh, quite a bit older. Uh, but this button, probably, I mean, I, it's got to be what, like top five uh, in terms of dope buttons, uh, at least in my book. So this one is exceptional. They have a little bit of history down here about NNW. This was a uh, brand out of Lynchburg, Virginia, not far from where I grew up. Um, Formed in 1902, so finding something like this, and this clean, uh, just unbelievable, very unusual. There's like maybe an oil grease spot there, but generally speaking, uh, probably was used a few times and then just didn't get a ton of wear after that. This one went for an incredible $5,500 to make the number one spot, and honestly, one of the highest sales we've seen all year. So congratulations to Warren Vintage, what a dope piece.